Right, welcome to a full day of eating. Um, so, I'm going to be taking you through the day of me eating, what I eat, what food I eat. Pretty simple. Anyway, first thing you've probably seen, I always start with, you've probably seen, I filmed the close, you've seen it, but I start the day just necking a bottle of water, get the hydration in straight away. Then, coffee, priorities. Nespresso, a Breggio, and check I'm not going to be late for work. I'm on time. And then I don't eat this, but diary. I've always started doing it for about a year ago, maybe about a year and a half ago. Just anything that's in my head. Three things I'm grateful for. Sometimes I write goals for the day, whatever. Busy. I know it's busy, but it helps me mentally prepare. And it's helped me through the dark times in life, so it's staying in. So yeah, um, I'll probably not eat until I go to work. I've got a client, so I'll eat uh, before my client, after my client. I'm going to meet with my mate Kurt and train at a gym called Body360, which is around the corner from where I work, the gym I work at. I'm going to train some upper body, so I'll eat before the gym. So, yeah, before my client, and I'll see you then. There's the whip. Jeez. Yes. Now, PDCAS was mostly in rats, and um, this is done in rats, and there's some in humans, uh, but it's more nutrition, the composition and digestibility of proteins. Must a study about um, the increased risk of cancer, uh, fish or chicken once or twice a week, and then you go to a meta. So, meal one. Ah, try not to choke. Meal one, slash pre-workout meal, so we'll probably be training in about two hours time. Plenty of time for the food to digest. Two eggs, two boiled eggs and spinach, sting up my car. And we've got some protein salt. Recipe for this is on my Instagram if you want to check it out. Uh, 100 grams of oats, 40, just 40 grams of whey in this one. Uh, 150 grams of berries and some cinnamon on top. Left in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, vitamin D. So I've stopped taking this at night time because I read a study saying that um, it's spikes in melatonin at night time which is the thing that kind of throughout the day increases to make you kind of feel tired I think I can't remember which way around it is, I probably said it the wrong way around but having it at night kind of wakes you up a little bit which is not what you want you want to be going fast to sleep so have it in the morning um, vitamin D because there isn't much sunlight this time of year and um, base in the gym a lot of the day so I don't really get out too much so I'll take that and I'm gonna dig in have the eggs first eggs first and I'll see you after I train my client I forgot to mention I put a little bit of either Himalayan salt or the low salt so it's like 50% less sodium just on the uh, eggs and a little bit on the porridge sometimes as well just because again it's the first meal of the day we need to hydrate and it's pre-workout meal so we need the, them salts for not only the muscle contraction but also obviously because we're going to be sweating we need to make sure the electrolyte level is quite high so that we can train optimum optimum oh fucking hell optimum oh, right that word scrap it right anyway I'm going to eat this and you will see me there <sighs> right I'm back right client done time to go and train got the little espresso sponsored by Nuffield Health come for some personal training in Gosforth gonna have this head over and train full up the body with my boy Kurt 
and then I'll film a, film a little bits and bobs over there. I'll walk you through the session. Train the body 360. Great gym. The, um, the owner Chris is a top bloke, so if anybody's in like near Silverlink, uh, no shields, get yourself down there. And I'll see you at the gym. Sad. I want to be. Right, so just got here. Guarantee, Curtis is still in bed. Definitely still in bed. <laughs> Completely slept in, bro. Typical, just that phone call just woke me up. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna get all this. And get into this. Hope that worked. Like magic, I'm in the BP fitness apparel. Apparel? apparel.
the bench. First warm up, do one more set and two sets to feel your whole six to ten reps. So I'm going to start on a thing to and see where we're at. I'll be alright, I'll give you I should be alright.
demonstrating the exercise when he was shredded. Wow! Literally like a few weeks before I went from here. What's in it? Say what's in it? No. What was it? Turnip? Carrots. Carrots. Potatoes. Potatoes. Onions. Onions. Peppers. Peppers, all right. Chili. Yeah. And tartars. Lovely. There we go. I'll have a little ball of that. Can't believe you're camera shy. Because I'm... Oh. Got the soup. Gonna have this to see us over until about half past six. I've got someone coming in, a client at half five. So I'll not eat obviously until after that. It's gonna sit and edit a little bit of the cups which I've just filmed, which you'll see. 
edit them, and then just chill for an hour until a client comes. So I'll see you at the next meal. <laughs> I'm Big Buzz, I'm Daddy Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad, Daddy Fitness. Sounds like someone else. Yeah, so, there's Joel Pearson yeah. Fitness, he's famous. Right. Spaghetti Bolognese. <laughs> what top are you going on? I feel woke up <laughs> rapido. <laughs> Rubber dingy rapids, bro. It's always have the pasta separate, what you do. Always have the pasta no, separate. No, you never do. Nah, you just do what you do. Know. Alright, uh, always have the pasta separate. Talk in. Last meal. So, last meal, got 50 grams of protein. Gonna put a little spoonful of peanut butter in. So, if you go on my Instagram, which will be in below, I'm actually gonna put the recipe on sometime this week. So by the time the video goes out, it'll be on. So if you wanna learn how to make protein pudding, you can have a look then. So I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for about 30 seconds with the peanut butter in. And then that's the last meal. So I'll put all the macros and stuff for the meals um, somewhere, probably down below. So most of the meals should have the macros on there. And then my total calories will be on there. So yeah, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. And Maybe have some date and walnut cake if there is any, but I'll put that in the calories as well. So, why don't you go ahead and slap you? Yeah, ready? There's a theory called the biofilm theory that states that if you have an encapsulation, Whoa. you should remove the old. Before I forget as well, nighttime supplements. So, put my vitamin D uh, this morning for my breakfast. I had my fish oil throughout the day as well, so I've got to add that in. I have a teaspoon of Nordic oil. And then nighttime, vitamin C, I know the camera's the wrong way, I can't film this on my phone. Vitamin C, 100 milligrams. And then three human tablets, which equivalents to 1.8 milligrams. So three of them, one of them, fish oil, and then vitamin D in the morning, that's me and my supplements, and then I have my creatine intro workout, so five grams of creatine. Uh, but that's everything. So, so yeah, like I said before, uh, let me know if you like the video. If you want me to do more of these style of videos, um, give it a like, give us a comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram down below, because I'll try and post daily on there, if I can, at least put the stories on daily. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I'll see you guys. See you guys next week. I'm Big Buzz. I'm Daddy Fitness. <laughs> <laughs>